Hello guys, uh, this is Dr. AJ Nguyen over at Kudo Care and thank you all patients here for letting us uh, do some teaching material for students. Uh, today I'm going to do an injection for keloid scar uh, or hypertrophic scar. The difference between is that the keloid is raining outside the scar itself and not in the wound. Uh, hypertrophic scar is still in the wound. These are usually very hard, but these you can see that's actually small, so it's not so bad to inject them. Uh, what I did is I just numb around with uh, cream first with Emla cream, and then I'll wait for the patient to be numb, and then start the injection. This is the injection that you use is uh, Kenalock, uh, 40 milligram per ml, and you can inject it intralesionally, and sometimes you have to use the lure lock so that the needle won't pop out because there's so much pressure. There are a couple of things you can need to know before this is make sure the patient comfortable. The second thing is that sometimes you have to inject several times and you can see scar changes from one week to one month. So I usually don't bring patient back until one month to actually do a second injection because I want the uh, scar to fully uh, benefit from the injection first. It'll take about a month. Also, there's other way that you can uh, remove scar which is not very effective. Uh, number one is surgery. Uh, you have a 90% recurrent rate with surgery because when you cut the scar out, you have to uh, you create a new scar. So that's uh, something that try not to do. Second thing is you can do radi um, um, radiation therapy. And you know you do that for cancer patient, but sometimes you can do that for scar. Uh, another one you can do silicone patch. Uh, another option is uh, laser as well, and also uh, cream. But cream also take forever. So here how it go. Um, so I use a very tiny needle, and I wanted to inject intralesionally to the patient, and the patient is a little prick. And you want to be in the lesion and you don't want it to be in the skin or deeper you don't want it to go anywhere else you just want to go in the lesion so there you go when you see the blanching that's where it's supposed to be so now the second one I have to pull this down because it's over the clavicle and same thing you put it in parallel to the lesion and just inject. Okay, thank you very much, guy.